Acts 27, 42 through 44. And it reads, and the soldier's counsel was to kill the prisoners, lest any of them should swim out and escape. But the centurion, willing to save Paul, kept them from their purpose and commanded that they which could swim could, should cast themselves first into the sea and get to land. And the rest, some on boards, some on broken pieces of the ship. And so it came to pass that they escaped all, somebody say all, all, all safe to land. Father, I pray you would bless this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. On this morning, I want to speak to you from the subject, I made it on broken pieces. I made it on broken pieces. A couple of weeks ago, I had the opportunity to speak at a women's conference, and the theme was how I made it. I was one of four speakers who spoke and shared a testimony of my trials and tribulations in life. At this particular conference, there were many women there from all different walks of life and different places in life who had experienced many different struggles. The four of us on program shared very similar testimonies. We were very open and very frank and told of how we survived molestation, sexual abuse, fear, abandonment, low self-esteem, drug addiction, some sexual perversion, promiscuity. Y'all remember, I am real. All right. And so as the last speaker, by the time I spoke, I wondered if I had anything left to say. Because so much was said, so much of my story was already told, I felt like just standing up saying, been there, done that, amen. Amen. Because see, what happens is, although the devil sees what we've gone through, he tries to make us feel that we're the only ones that's going through that struggle, when in actuality, somebody on your row, maybe two or three people on your row is going through or has been through the very same thing. Somebody better holler back at me on this morning. People all over the country, all over the world are in a struggle of some sort. We see in our day that men and women are like are struggling with some of the same problems. Issues with rejection, depression, worry, doubt, and fear. Wondering if there's ever going to be the day that I live the abundant life that Jesus promised me. Due to this recession, we see the mental and emotional effect it's having on our men. Our men, that's why I was so touched, who've lost their jobs and they can't land another job. No matter how much they look, no matter how much they submit applications or resumes, they're constantly hearing no, or we've hired someone else, or you're overqualified, or you're underqualified. We just went with another candidate. Amen. And they're left feeling rejected, hurt, and like a failure because they're not able to provide for their families or live the lifestyle that they're used to. Doesn't matter how strong you are, or how macho you are, men. Doesn't matter how prayerful you are, and doesn't matter how saved you are. If you're constantly hearing no, and the doors are closing in your face day after day, that will begin to play with your mind and your emotions. Am I being too real in the house? You stop believing that you're no good and of no worth and unqualified, not just for that job, but for any job. Amen. And then you start to question your life. And then if you're not careful, you start to question your very existence. And then if you're not even more careful, the devil will try to convince you to take your own self out. Telling you you're better off dead. Leaving you to feel broken. At some point in life, all of us have experienced the disappointment of feeling like life was going in one direction only to have our life goals and plans crumble right before our eyes. 
got married and declared before the family, God, friends, and the preacher, amen, that we would be married and remain married until death do us part. But then not too long after the nuptials, the celebration and the party, somebody got a revelation that I still love you. I'm just no longer in love with you. Went to college, got a good job, worked on it for a few years, bought the house, bought the car, amen, lived the lifestyle that you wanted to, and then all of a sudden the job closed, amen, leaving you and thousands of others unemployed and trying to get the next job. Did all that you knew to do to take care of your body and be in good health, exercise right, ate right, kept your stress levels down, only to go to the doctor and then hear that there's an issue in your body that's hereditary. These are real life issues and situations that are very devastating. Amen. And the truth of the matter is that no matter how much you pray, no matter how much someone tries to encourage you, amen, and sometimes no matter even how much you go to church, these issues can still leave you feeling broken. 